welcome back to our class. So we have met again after so many days. Today we are going to start a new part that is getting to know plants. Now <coughs> you can see plants everywhere. Whenever you step out of your home, you find plants here and there, clear beside the roads, in the paths, everywhere you will find lots of plants. But it's not that all, also you have noticed that all plants are not same. They have various structures, you will find various types of plants, various structures. So there are many varieties, many structures which we can study and what are the basic structure of the plant that also we can study and that is what we are going to study today. So first of all if we go on for the plants, what are the structures basically we will find clear we are going to see it today. Now <coughs> see this is a plant clear when you take out a small plant from the soil whatever you will find this is the thing what we have under the soil the part which is under the soil is called the root system clear this remains under the soil and <coughs> above the soil which emerges out of the soil is the shoot system so we can specifically we can divide the plant into two major part that is the root system which is under the soil and the shoot system which is above the soil now what do this root system contain this root system contains it may contain a central root with all lots of branches and sometimes you will see that central root is not there only these branches are there so there may be the central root with its branches or they may be only the branches have forming the roots so but we'll find that roots fine roots uh, with root hairs are plenty of root hairs are there in the soil and <coughs> and above the ground what we'll find we'll find the main axis which is called stem and the whole part is called shoot system so the shoot system consists of a main axis which is called stem which keeps the plant above the ground clear and plant can stand erect due to this main axis and there are lots of green flat structures which are the leaves you can see lots of branches with green flat structures for leaves and the most attractive part often we find that flowers are there in the plant sometimes we can find fruits also along with the seed so there in the shoot system we find this main axis or stem with lots of branches the branches they are flat structures for leaves which are green in color and it also bears certain attractive colorful part which are called the flowers so these are the parts which we are supposed to get when we take a plant or out of the ground and ex uh, go through the structures properly so you can see here this is a landscape full of trees clear but do you what do you find all the trees are same same no some are so long some are growing very near to ground they are very small they are very close to ground some are medium so various types of plants we will find when we are moving to a area full of trees or full of plants so you will find so these are the grasses which are growing very close to they are very small and very close clear these are the certain plants which are comparatively having medium heights and all and there are several other plants which are long enough with woody trunks so whenever we go to a area which is full of plants we'll we will find various types of plants in those areas now you can categorize these plants into various types now what are the types so first of all we will see that these are the small plants which grows close to ground and they don't have very strong stem clear they have weak often green stem so this type of plants where we find that weak 
plant contains wheat, green st uh, stem, they are small in size, we call them herbs. So herbs are the small plants with green stem, clear, don't, they don't have any woody stem and they are comparatively very small in size, grows very close to ground and so these are called herbs. Now see here, you can easily recognize this is the tea garden, clear? And these are the tree plants. Now have you seen tree plants clear in tea garden? They have a woody stem but they does not grow as long as the trees. Clear? They have woody stem if we don't cut them. For procuring the tea leaves we often cut them but if we don't cut them they will grow to a certain height but they will never grow in such a tall tree. They have woody st stem they will grow to a certain height and these plants which are grows into medium height they have woody stem they often form a bushy like structure these are called shops clear all of you have seen the tea plants so these are all called these are called shops so what the shops have they have the woody stem they have uh, they grows to a medium size they often form a bushy appearance these are called shops and finally we will come to the trees you can see here this long plants with woody stem clear they are long enough with lots of leaves these are the trees so this you can see these are the here you can see this so long clear from <coughs> surrounding areas these are all with strong woody stem clear which holds them to a long height so when they are so long they have to hold them to a upright clear and that is told by the strong woody stem so all these are the trees so trees are long enough they have a strong woody stem which holds them upright and they have a large array of leaves so these are called trees so we have now categorized three basic type of plants one is the small weak stem clear the generally green stem very small plants they are called herbs next are the plants with medium height woody stem often forms bushy they are called shrubs and finally the long plants with strong woody stem which hold them upright with lots of leaves array of leaves this is called trees now another group of plant we will find they they don't have such a strong stem they say they don't have such a strong stem and uh, but they grow try to grow upward clear and often they entwine certain supports like the other trees or the other the stick or some logs or some buildings clear those are called climbers so climbers are comparatively what a climber they have comparatively weak stem clear they have comparatively weak stem and they try to grow but in spite of the weak stem they try to grow upward clear and so sometimes they can they hang from the large trees or they can take a support like the trunk of the other trees or they can take a support of the buildings or some uh, upright uh, uh, logs on which they twine and they grow upward so this type of plants which grows upward but do not have such a strong stem like that of the trees or shrubs these are called climbers so they take a support to grow upward so another type of plant is there you can see it will not grow upward clear it will grow around along with the ground horizontally or along with the ground so this type of plants which grows along with the ground does not grows upward clear they will <coughs> elaborate themselves on the horizontally on the surface of the ground these plants are called creepers clear so these plants are called creepers 
so we have learnt half sharp trees and then climbers and creepers climbers are also having weak stem but they go try to go upward clear also with supporting with the support of other substances and creepers also have weak stem but they do not grow upward they grow horizontally to the ground clear on the surface of the ground they grow so they are the creepers so as we are going for the plants or uh, to as we are going through the plants or we are going to know the plants so let us have some look on various types of plants clear and some have an idea or our look on this plants so you can see here the gigantic plants you can see in comparison to so very old pines here this comparison to human being see what what gigantic structures do they have these are also beautiful array of trees here some in here some hilly areas so here you can see the so lushy green clear view it is because only this plants are there so it's a, so lushy green view is due to these plants it is beautiful view here it is so beautiful as because so many plants are there which are increasing the beautification of the area so what a nice green area here with a lonely tree so now when we are talking about plants we can't think plants without flowers so various types of flowers which are so brightly colored clear they are so nice we can have some views of various variety of flowers you see beautiful flowers clear with beautiful colors it makes the plant so attractive to us so various flowers you can see what attractive and pure they are attractive as well as so pure so here you can see these are the flowers of orchid flowers which looks like the insects so see what an array what a variety of flowers do have we have clear so these are just looking like some insects if you go on for the closely you will find they having the neck clear wing like structures the body the beak like structures but these are simply these are the flowers so think what a variety is there in the flowers so these are the some orchid flowers clear with such a variety of their structure their colors another group of flowers you can see such nice colors and very very so students we have seen lots of plants lots of flowers so gradually we are going in the plant kingdom here so today till this